All right, guys, I'll weld it in on the sides, all the way on the bottom. Plug welds. Jeez. Nice heat penetration on there. Heat registered mark, whatever you want to call it. All right, so the, I mean, I'm not here to show off welds or anything. Just make sure that you, you're running your heat pretty good. That way the metal will stick together because you don't want this to break. It is the front end of your vehicle. Um, so take your time. Again, like I said before, don't half ass any of this stuff. Uh, one skill you're gonna need to learn when you do this is patience. And also I wanted to, to show you in, in that bottom drawer down there, can you grab me one of those discs? I wanted to show you the grinding wheels that I use. Um, I don't know if you have a local uh, welding shop, but where I'm at, there's an MJB, and the wheels that I use are uh, the 3M Cubitron discs. Now, if your welding supply store doesn't have them, um, I'm sure they can possibly get them if you request them. But I have found that these wheels right here, part number 78467-Q, these are by far the best wheels I've ever used. Um, this is just my opinion. Um, this will definitely save you a lot of time. Uh, so I mean, if you, if you cheap out on the abrasive materials that you use like the wheels and sand discs and all that stuff i mean it's just gonna take you longer these are probably about seven to thirteen dollars a wheel depending on uh, your location um don't quote me on that but that's what it is around here i live in california northern california so again these cubitron twos by 3m I think these are the best money can buy personally. Now, uh, what we're gonna do from here is I'm gonna set my plate up. I'm gonna see if this this piece right here needs to be trimmed at all to get it to sit flush with that. And we will go from there. All right guys, so in the kit, I should have done this before, but in the kit, you will get the lower bracket which has to be bent at a 90 degree angle. The top bracket, 10 degree angle, depending on side, so don't mess this up. I put mine in like that with the, the taper going off to the back and this round part in the front. Uh, you will get a top piece. This piece right here is for... So later on, we will cut this mount up here and this piece right here goes right on the top and boxes all that in. Now, the gussets you will be using come with the kit also. So there'll be two of all of this stuff and that plate right there. So these two right here are for the lower portion underneath this bracket. And these, these two odd shaped ones right here, these go on the top. So they're, they're pretty self-explanatory on the gussets. Uh, you just put them in to fit. Um, again, these ones go, so like how this plate is right here, you just put the 90 on it, just like that. Front one. Boom, boom, just set that, same thing. Uh, you may have to trim part of this gusset out a little bit so your bag doesn't rub on it, depending on the bag you choose to run in the front. Um, we are just using Firestone bags on this build. Um, it's a super simple uh, quarter inch air setup with the paddle valve. Um, also, we are going to be running two 480 air maxes with the 3 8 line. Um, we're going to do a little test on those versus Vier. 
and we'll let you guys know how those work and if it works great i'm going to be using i'm going to be using these same compressors if they work out well so i mean it, i mean i don't i don't know what side of the fence you're on with by air air max um zeniths air zeniths but we're just gonna go for it they were on air slam it they were like 277 i want to say for two a dual kit 480s um, they're pretty nice compressors so we're gonna see how they run on this truck and if they work out great i'm gonna switch my by airs out for these air maxes i've i've read a lot of reviews i don't see any issues with them but you never know so next we are going to be installing this kit all right guys she's all welded in fully welded all the way around two gussets on top two gussets on bottom lower bracket it's almost pretty much just level with the frame or that where it drops down right there it's almost level with it basically I just set this end up on top of that enough to get a bead on the front of it there she is she's installed I'm gonna put another weld probably right across that little gap right there and call her good all right guys all done with the install Gussets, both sides, bottom, other side, all the plates all welded in. Um, I did take a measurement from where I set this side, from the bottom plate up to the top, made sure they were the same. Um, we had pretty much banged her out. I don't know if you can see it real good, but this is what it should look like when you're done. Other than that top plate up on top, up up here, we still gotta cut that and put that top plate in. But I mean, I don't really need to record that. Also, we cut the, the hump out so we can put the spindle on the top instead of underneath. Um, I, I wanna say it gives you about an inch gives you an inch lower if you put that on top uh, and I think we're done we'll just paint this and put the bags in it and call her good all right guys so we got it all done the bag is installed right now Whoa. and now we gotta uh, cut this or put the spindle in painted it while we were in here That's full squish or I'm maxed out on the jack, but anyways. So on some bags, you will have to cut the part of these gussets. You'll have to trim them so your bag fits it. Right in here. This one's got pretty good space. Good clearance. You don't want your bag to rub on anything. Not even when it's resting. So, as you, the truck is jacked up in the front and not in the back. So, but it is straight with the truck. Next is putting the spindle in and putting the whole front end back together and doing air test. Mm -hmm. 